Hey there, how you doing? Hope you're doing good. Uh, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and talk to you guys a little bit more about my single White Lies. And you know, like what the song is about, how it all came together and all that good stuff. So first things first, I have a funny story. <laughs> I thought I was a genius when I came up with the title White Lies. I grew up in Switzerland, so I didn't grow up speaking English but rather speaking German and Swiss German, okay? So I didn't know that the term white lies was a thing, like that existed. We have a term in, in German called Notlüge, and I wanted to write a song about that, which is white lies, right? So um, it was right around the time where I was getting married. I just got engaged a couple months before, so I was looking at wedding dresses, and um, I realized that, you know, traditionally brides, at least here in the US and in Switzerland as well, brides wear a white dress to represent their innocence. And I was like, well, if you call a lie a white lie, it's like an innocent lie, right? Like a lie with maybe good intentions behind it or whatever it is, right? Um, so I thought I was a genius. I was like, oh my gosh, that is so smart. <laughs> but then, yeah, I Google translated the term Notlüge from German into English and realized that I wasn't so smart and that other people had the same idea. So here we are, right? But yeah, that was just quickly my funny story. I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> but yeah, so the song is basically about, you know, like when I moved from Switzerland to the US to, you know, do this whole music thing, I, um, I had a boyfriend back then and he stayed in Switzerland and I moved to the US and you know, it's like 5,000 miles. It's quite a long way. And we did this long distance relationship thing for a while, eventually broke up. And a couple months later, got back together again. And guess what? Yeah, sure. I wanted to break up again as I do, right? So uh, I felt really, really, really bad because I promised him that I wasn't gonna do it again, but I did it anyways. So I, I was just like, I try to come up with ways of like not making it so bad and, you know, using a couple of white lines here and there just to, you know, not completely crush his soul again. So, um, but yeah, I had to do it anyways. Like I, we had a breakup. It, it just had to happen. And I feel like a lot of people have been in that situation where you're like, I have to do this. I really don't want to hurt you because it's nothing you did wrong. It's not like you're a bad person or anything like that, but I have to do it because I have to move on. I have other things that I want to do that I need to do that are better for me. I know that, um, but that doesn't mean this other person was bad and that you want to hurt this person, but you know you're going to hurt them anyways, but you're trying to do it in a way that, you know, it's not too, too bad. And if you can do it with a white lie, why not? So that's basically the whole story behind um, the song. And I read the song together with Matt and Kaylian down in Nashville, and it was so much fun. It was actually only the second song we wrote for the album. And I thought it was absolute fire, and I still think it's fire. So if you haven't heard it yet, make sure you go listen to it. It's uh, on all streaming platforms, so there's no excuses. And if you did listen to it already, awesome. Thank you so much. Keep listening. I hope you guys like it. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time.